I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! Good morning, world! Welcome to our Odyssey! We are here in the Hohe Tauern National Park in Austria and we are surrounded by beautiful foggy mountains. You can see the fog is still rising up over the mountains. It was quite a wet night and still a very wet morning. Uh, but very warm as well, like it's not cold at all. It's very nice. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And I think last night it might have snowed up there because I can see some really fresh white glistening snow up there. It's amazingly beautiful in this area. <laughs> so today we are going to be heading to the highest waterfall in Austria. It's called Krimmel Waterfalls and it's a couple of hours drive away. Mm -hmm. So we've just had breakfast, we've just had a coffee and uh, we're going to hit the road. Yes, let's go! <laughs> When the bed becomes the kitchen! Whee! Uh, it's still kind of raining out here. It's not great weather today. So we're having some lunch and we're going to see if it improves. But we have arrived at the Krimmel waterfalls. <laughs> they are over here in the mist in the distance. We are going to see after lunch if the weather is improved and head on over there. Some coffee! <laughs> I'm so sophisticated. I'm doing French toast in the Krimmel Waterfalls car park. So it's just French toast all in the one frying pan. So you just like soak the bread in egg and then fry it all up. And it's gonna be lovely. Lovely. Look at that with some za'atar seasoning on top. That is beautiful. What an amazing lunch. Wow. So we've had a break in the weather. It's looking quite nice, quite bright. So we're heading over and the waterfall is just here. And it's a very, very pretty looking waterfall. It's huge and it's so nice. So we just paid five euro per person to enter the national park here to see the waterfall to use their really lovely um, way mm -hmm. they built so I think this is all right and for the parking we just parked actually in front here um, it's as well about five euro for two hours or three hours so it's all right yeah not too bad pricing not too bad for what you can see the tallest waterfall in Austria I think it's a good deal Ooh, I'm excited <laughs> <laughs> 
So we're heading to the bottom of the lower falls first. Now the lower falls are 140 meters high. Then there's the middle falls, which are 100 meters high. And then there's the upper falls that are also 140 meters high. That's some crazy high. Woo -hoo. Woo. Okay. I'm gonna need a raincoat if I'm gonna go closer. I think because it was raining last night, the waterfall is even more impressive right now. It's so, so much water. Wow. The way is supposed to be one and a half hours. For us probably more like three hours. <laughs> and quite a climb as well about 450 meters all the way to the top waterfall. So we have to take it nice and easy. the middle waterfall and this one is a hundred meters high is just so powerful. upper waterfall 140 meters just like the lowest one wow super 
pretty and super impressive and just to think that this one is above the other one and the other one is above the first one that's crazy each one alone is amazing wow Okay, last bit, we're going to go to the top of the upper waterfall. Wow, getting some views from up here. Woo! The top of the upper falls, 1,460 meters above sea level. Oh! And you can see the town of Krimmel down there at the bottom. Woo! First, the largest glacier and the tallest mountain in Austria, and now the tallest waterfall. The Hohe Tower National Park has it all. <laughs> yes! Okay, it's time to make our way down. Our first trail running experience! <laughs> It's a lot easier going down than up, to tell you that. Whee! Made it back alive. Oh yeah. Wow, it was so impressive to see the waterfall and like the trail is very very easy easy to walk up there, see everything, enjoy it We've been absolutely super impressed by the yeah. Hohe Tower National Park in general Yesterday's glacier, today's waterfall, wow, absolutely incredible So now we're gonna hit the road and continue heading west and try and find a place where we can spend a beautiful night in the mountains of Austria <laughs> Oh my god, it started raining like crazy and we're going up onto a high mountain road now. Oh my god. And it's really cold now, it feels like Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you believe it was only like one week ago when we were in Croatia and Montenegro and it was like the most beautiful sunshine and beaches. Oh my god. I'm starting editing now in our little office here. So we're just stopping on our way to uh, grab some snacks. It's sort of like nearly six o'clock so it's like snacks slash kind of dinner and uh, we're gonna stop at our favorite supermarket let's see what tasty yummy treats they have for us okay so it's raining still raining so we couldn't be bothered to cook anything and it's pretty much dinner time so Ed what are we having Lavi? some bread with some cream cheese and some fake meat on top like <laughs> quite German <laughs> quite nice <laughs> and for dessert we have some like chocolate rolls a nice easy rainy inside the camper van dinner I like it <laughs> after our quick dinner stop we're back on the road and we have about half an hour more to go until we reach uh, the town called Hintertux 
which is where we're going to try and stay tonight. We have arrived. Let's go have a look around. <laughs> Woo. Woo. That's not a bad spot, hey? Wow. Wow. So this is um, the village or town of Hintertux and this is where we're going to go tomorrow where there's an amazing special treat in store <laughs> but we aren't showing that on today's episode that's coming up on the next episode <laughs> exactly but this is the parking place and it's absolutely such a stunning surrounding I think we will have a really good night of sleep tonight. This uh, spot we found on Park for Night. Yeah, and it's pretty much at the end of this long road that comes up the valley. And you can see the road doesn't carry on anywhere. It just kind of stops and you've just got hills all around. And a waterfall over there. Oh, how awesome is that? <laughs> <laughs> but we had an absolutely awesome time seeing the Krimla waterfalls they were so spectacular and for five euro each it was a pretty good pretty good thing to do and we would definitely recommend it so we really hope that you enjoyed the episode if you did please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we will see you next time if you enjoyed watching this video you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here thanks so much for watching guys we will see you next time